Hello viewers, in my previous video I gave an introduction regarding the knowledge extraction in AI. So in that I have discussed regarding the block diagram for the production system and also two techniques I have listed in that that is the forward chaining and forward reasoning as well as the backward chaining and backward reasoning. So in this video we will be seeing what is forward chaining or forward reasoning in context of knowledge extraction in AI. So stay tuned to my video to understand how this is done. This is Ranjuraj and you are streaming on the steady beast. So first of all, as the name suggests, forward reasoning means you have set of some facts and set of rules based on that you have to reason forward along the chain. So one name for forward reasoning uh, is forward chaining and along with that it has got data driven knowledge extraction as another alternative name. Now uh, it starts with a set of facts which you have and set of rules however it has and it decides upon which rule has to be applied to that particular fact. To the inference engines. Since uh, inference engine will contain an n number of different rules. So one such rule for deriving your forward chaining or forward reasoning to speed up it up. Uh, that rule is named as modest ponent. Now what modest ponent states that given a set of fact and a rule which derives another fact we can derive fact from that. So what it basically says that we have one uh, kind of fact here that is p and we have one rule that is p derives q. Then uh, it is given in such a way that P derives Q then you can infer Q. So it is written in this way that is you have this fact P and P can derive Q you can infer Q. Now uh, we will consider this with the help of an example. So we have this fact P and you have this rule P derives Q and Q derives R and you can infer R. So uh, first of all uh, you have this that is we given that is fact P you have from this uh, you can actually write this uh, because this is from modest ponen. So I will write MP here and uh, once you have this you can infer this Q and you can just join because P just derived Q and from here you can actually use this rule that is Q derives R that is by using modest ponen and from here you can infer and get a new knowledge or new fact as R. And so what the knowledge uh, we have gained in this is you can derive P from P you derived Q from Q you derived R. So this uh, like chaining is moreover like uh, in a mathematical constraint you have like A is equal to B, B is equal to C. So it was like A is equal to B then B is equal to C then you could have write this. So the roots are from modest ponent in AI. So you can apply that. So there is an algorithm here. So you have to apply the repeat loop in this and you have uh, the very first step that is collect the rule whose condition matches in the fact in the working memory. So you have this particular given fact and you have this kinds of rule. So with this example if you go you cannot apply this rule at the very first stage because you have this fact P and so you have applied this very first rule. And uh, you have to do the action indicated by the rule that is whatever action is there you have to perform it that if P derives Q then you can infer Q likewise many different kinds of rules and knowledge extraction is there and you have to actually add or delete your uh, fact in the working memory until you reach a particular solution to your problem or no such condition is met. And there is one state diagram uh, for representing this knowledge extraction is that first you have this initial state uh, which is given and from the initial state you have the condition check. Now uh, if there is a match found then it will go to the LHS that is this side and it will infer your goal state. And uh, if there is a new fact or is a new rule then it will directly go to RHS and it will uh, derive the goal. So well that's all about the forward reasoning or forward chaining or a data driven knowledge extraction in AI. So hope you enjoyed this video from this video helpful. Please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.